Notion can become the most powerful productivity app in your life. But how do you configure Notion from a blank page? In this video, I will be sharing the fastest way to get up and running on Notion and how you can integrate this into your daily life. For me, Notion was the best $4 subscription for myself, hands down. What's up achievers? This is Murli here and I'm here to help you improve your productivity. If these topics are of interest to you, consider subscribing. If you go into Notion's homepage, they describe the tool as an all-in-one workspace. They mention that it can help you deal with notes and docs, knowledge bases, tasks and projects, and databases. In order to successfully use any tool, it's best to start small and choose something that you will use pretty much on a daily basis in order to get used to it. For example, you could choose a project like fitness if you exercise regularly. If you're a student, pick up any subject. And if you're working or running your own business, choose a project that you're currently working on. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to choose my YouTube channel as something that I work on pretty much daily. When you first open Notion, you're greeted with a blank page. Think of it as a website and you could layer it according to your requirements. Since it's such an open canvas, it's best to take a blank piece of paper. In my case, I'd like to have the layout of my landing page with the following components. My 2020 YouTube strategy that I could refer to from time to time. The topics I research and the ones I select for making videos for people like you. Taking into consideration any suggestions for channel improvements that come from my friends, my family or the YouTube viewers like yourselves. My main project tracker to track progress of individual videos, including the production from start to finish. My publishing calendar to make sure that I'm publishing the right content for my viewers. Additional reference material and templates I may need. Or other actions or things to do. You can pretty much lay out Notion the way you want it to look. It could be text, a page, a to-do list, a heading, a bullet list, numbered or a toggle, a quote, a divider line, a link to a page or a call out. You could also embed several databases. It could be a table, a board, a list, a calendar, or you could create linked databases. You could embed images, a web bookmark, a video, audio, code, or a file. So the landing page or subsequent links can be configured as you like and pretty much limited only to your creativity or imagination. I will show how some of these work as we go along in the video. The only thing you have to remember is that the plus sign adds a block below and the six dots do a number of changes to the block. Just type some text in and begin to experiment. So now that I'm clear on what needs to go into my home page, I start to construct my page. I want a calendar type tracker on my home page. So I first insert it. I can add a view and choose a list view. The list view allows me to create a spreadsheet kind of a view, while the calendar view allows me to see things at a glance. I can even favorite the page I'm currently working on so that it's easy to go back and forth. Now I can lay out my landing page based on the topics I picked out. It doesn't have to be final. It's a living, breathing document and the document gets augmented pretty much every day. A finished publishing calendar could look something like this. As you can see, I can see pretty much everything on a daily basis. Now I can insert my 2020 strategy as a separate page. I can lay out the headers and work my way through the strategy. I can keep my home page pretty clean and my work in progress as a separate page so that it doesn't really come in the way. Now let's look at something a little more complicated to get you started. My project tracker. My main page has a table. If you look at the current video, the one that you guys are watching, you can see that it lays out the video and the actions I need to take. For example, I can track the progress with a board. The board could be divided into a few columns like not started, in progress and completed. The steps are laid out below it and I can move the steps around depending on my progress. You can see that it's easier to visualize than a checklist. 
So I get much better control on these groups. You can also see that I have references, my notes around research, different ideas that I generated, say for example, for titles and the one that I finally chose. And then in order to make sure that I really don't miss anything, the checklists are laid out and embedded within the board. You can add a link to resources that will help you go back to a website straight from this page. You can drag and drop blocks by just clicking and holding down and moving them around. As you learn or gather more information, you can keep adding to individual pages. Just keep in mind that you just created a shell and over time you'll find that the page becomes invaluable to your productivity. Great things take time. My question of the day is, which app do you guys currently use for managing your life better? Do you guys use Trello, Asana or Evernote? Do comment below. Check out the videos on the screen right now for more note-taking tips. If you're not yet part of this community, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified for new videos. See you again soon. Bye.